Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by. It's Tia. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Glad to have you. On Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, I post. Monday and Wednesday could be anything. Usually beauty or fragrance or fashion or travel or whatever. And then on Fridays, I post about fibromyalgia. If that interests you, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, remember to hit the like button at the end after you've watched it and come up with your own opinions, right? So um, self-care, let's go over that real quick. Make sure you do something to care for yourself today. Regardless of how your week is going, it can only get better if you do something to take care of you. So make time for that. Today's video is a fragrance video, which most of my videos as of late have been. Now, this particular fragrance, I was never going to review because I didn't like it. And I never took time to figure out why I didn't like it. I've had this particular bottle, I think, since 2008 or nine. So I've had this bottle for a while and I didn't like it. So I never thought I would review it, but I am reviewing it today. Here it is. It is clean, shower fresh. Now, I'm going to ask you, if you've been watching my videos, to go back mentally a few weeks. I reviewed Harvey Prince Hello right here. I reviewed that and I said I didn't like that one either. And I was very hesitant to review it or even to re-wear it after I purchased it several years ago. And when I wore it again, I pinpointed what I didn't like. And then I realized it was something that I could kind of bypass, okay? If you remember, and I'm going to link that video overhead right about here. If you remember, that opens up with a lot of citrus, but one of the citrus notes in particular was lemon. Another one was grapefruit. It opens up with very sour citruses, right? What I figured out with Shower Fresh by Clean is that it opens the same way. And that's why I didn't like it because there's something about a sour citrus opener that I'm not a fan of. I love sweet citruses like orange or um, satsuma, which is a type of orange. But I'm going to tell you the notes. Let me grab my list. It's right over here. I'm going to tell you the notes on this and tell you why I was hesitant to review it and why I felt like I needed to review it anyway. So the notes, the top notes are lemon, orange, and mandarin orange, okay? The mid notes are orange blossom, lily of the valley, and jasmine, and the base notes are musk and woody notes. Now, when you smell this, you get all that lemon. You do get the floral. It does open up a little bit to the floral after you spray it, but you really... I only get a little bit of the lily of the valley. I really don't get the jasmine or the orange blossom when I smelled this. And I was not a fan. Like, does it smell clean and shower fresh? Yeah, it does. It smells like something I could clean my shower with. And that's why I wasn't really feeling it. It didn't smell like me fresh out of the shower. It smelled like the shower has been scrubbed. Um, it smells to me like cleaning product. Now, I'm a fan of clean, so this is no shade to the company. I love Clean's products. This video will have Clean links overhead at multiple points. Um, however, I'm not a fan of this. And like I said, as someone who's not a fan, the question is, well, why review it? The reason why I'm reviewing it is because I wanted to bring out the fact that the more you practice a thing, the more patterns you recognize and those patterns that you recognize are what help you to discern or to develop a taste for something. So because I've smelled so many perfumes <laughs> after reviewing all of the perfumes I've had and actually taking the time to get acquainted with each of them, after reviewing all of these ones I have, many of which I finished using thankfully, I realized I really don't like bright citrus openers. I also realized, if you've watched any of my videos about a lang, -lang I absolutely detest a lang, lang as a note. So I learned things, things that I couldn't pinpoint before, I'm getting better at pinpointing it. So the point is, if you like fragrance, and perhaps your nose is kind of like everything smells nice or, you know, I know some things I don't like. I know some things I do like, but I really can't tell the difference. All I can tell you is keep trying and keep smelling them and keep learning about notes because eventually you're going to be able to pick up a scent, sniff it and say, "Ooh, 
what's wrong with this? Or, ooh, I love this. And you'll be able to answer your own question as far as what's off about this scent or what's great about that scent just based on the smell. There are some scents, I'm thinking Theory Mugler Angel. Um, that one is chocolatey. And so if you like chocolate notes, that one opens up very warm and chocolatey. It's very nice. Um, and then there are some fragrances like cool water that are cool. <laughs> so, um, and I think cool water is by Davidoff. It's been a, a long time. I never wore it, but my mom used to. So um, there are certain fragrances that carry certain um, profiles with them. And the more you smell and the more you try things to understand what works with you, the better you understand what makes a scent perfect for you personally. So there are certain notes that I absolutely love. You all know I love musk. If it has musk, it's usually a hit for me. However, this has musk as a base note and I don't like it. And I'm actually wearing it today and I still don't like it. The musk and the woody notes are just kind of they're kind of um, brassy. That's the best word I can think of. It almost gives me metallic and it kind of, it's not a symphony. It's kind of like instruments clanging against each other. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I love musk, but this is not the musk for me, mainly because it has lemon on the in the opener and it has other notes that don't really round out the bass. So... Yeah, they still sell this. This is an old bottle, as you can tell. They don't, I don't even think they use this packaging anymore. I bought this in 2000, like I said, 2008. I think I said 2008. 2008 or 9-ish is when I got this. And it came out in 2007. So I've had it almost since it came out. It was part of a set that I got off a of Home Shopping Network. And I wasn't impressed with this. I used up many of the other ones. Um, but this one, no. Now, they do have one, Clean Ultimate, that is top-notch, but this is not Clean Ultimate. They still sell Shower Fresh, and I will put the link because you may love the notes. If you love a lemony opener, this is it. If you don't mind um, a, uh, I said brassy. Let me come up with a better word. Um, if you don't mind a heavier base note, that a heavy musk that really doesn't have a lot of nuance to it, this might be it for you. Also, it's important to note, they've got the mid notes as the orange blossom, lily of the valley, and jasmine. I don't pick up the orange blossom at all. I do smell lily of the valley, and I smell a bit of the jasmine, but jasmine is so warm. This is crisp, crisp, crisp and that's the lily of the valley and the lemon doing that it's a super crisp kind of sharp scent so if you want something that is a little more melodic a little bit warmer a little more fluid as far as the smell this isn't it this is not it it's a good fragrance for what it's for and i imagine it's amazing on some people's chemistry it does not stink on me i just don't like it to be clear it does not smell bad i'm just not a fan and that's a very possible thing when you are reviewing scents as well. You may find some scents, oh, they don't give you a headache. They're not nauseating. They're not awful. They're just not good. And they're not great on you. That is a real possibility. You get this whole spectrum of interpretation when you start wearing various fragrances and trying different things. And I'm glad that I've revisited this. I'm really glad that I reviewed Hello by Harvey Prince a few weeks ago because it made me get more aware of, or I said made me get, it made me more aware of why I don't like certain fragrances and it gave me a new note to watch out for when I am smelling fragrances to let me know if I don't like this, is it lemon, is it a lang, -a -lang or is it something else? Because believe it or not, there are a myriad of smells, a myriad of scents and notes, and you may dislike many. And I'm pretty sure that lemon and a lang, -a -lang are not the only ones I personally dislike. So the more I smell, the more I'll learn. Oh, there was one other note. I had a fragrance by Roja Dove, 
and I might review it. They're still like, I got the samplers because it's a really pricey perfume and I will invest in a bottle one day once I find the one that's perfect for me. Not there yet though. Um, I've smelled them, but I haven't fallen head over heels for any of them. One of them was part of, well, the ones that I had, it was six of them and they were part of like the Middle East collection. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, but they named each scent after a country in the Middle East. And one of them, I liked them all. I thought they were all very luxe and very decadent scents. But one of them I smelled and I was like, this is luxe, but there's something about it I don't, I don't really care for. And I went and looked at the notes and it had banana as a note. I don't like bananas. I smelled it in the fragrance, didn't register what I didn't like about it. I just knew I didn't like it as well as the others. And that's what it was. It had banana as a note. So there you go. Um, little things like that are the things you learn as you continue to smell various fragrances and try things on you. And then there are some things, you smell it in the bottle, like hello, I smelled it in the bottle, didn't really care for it, sprayed it, didn't really care for it, gave it a little time and it developed into something beautiful. Scent is such a unique experience for you, for your nose in particular, and even for how other people um, interpret your scent. It's amazing what you can do with the right fragrance and um, what kind of story you can tell with fragrance. And in this case, I don't like the story this is telling on me. I don't like the story it tells to me. So it's not something I would continue to wear. Um, other than, other than it might be fun to layer it with some things and see if I can bring out some of the other notes because the lemon does fade. The orange notes do fade but the mid notes and the base notes are what linger and the base notes are kind of, they're not flat, but they're kind of heavy, kind of clunky even. And I would love to see if there's a way that you can dress this up. So I'll play around with it, but on its own, it's a no for me. And you know, I love clean. My favorite fragrance in the whole world is made by clean. So I love clean, but that's not it for me. Anyway, I've talked your head off for 12 minutes and you stayed till here. We must be good friends. Please take great care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.